Hey there guys, Mr. Myasis here, and even though it might look like I just woke up, I didn't really just wake up, um, but I am in my house today. It's Sunday, so, uh, but I'm going to make this video for you on slope fields. So we're in uh, BC Calculus, and we're already lesson six one, guys. We've been moving along, right? Um, so in this video, I'll be doing slope fields. So basically, a slope field is just a graphical rep representation of, of slopes that we can get from a differential equation. And remember that a differential equation, when we solve it, it's the general solution of a differential equation. So what the slope field does is it shows us kind of like all of the possible slopes that could be on this, uh, this graph, okay? So here's an example one, one second. All right, so in this first example here, it just says find the slopes of the differential equation. Now remember that um, dy dx is our slope, right? dy dx is our slope. So all we're going to do is plug in 3 comma 2 in for x and y, and we'll get our slope. All right, so 3, so this one's going to be negative 3 halves. This is going to be positive 1 third. This is going to be 2, right? Because 2 over, actually, let's see, it's going to be negative positive. This is going to be negative 2. And then 2, uh, we're going to have negative 2 over negative 2, which is 1. Right. Let me show the work here on this one. Just going to give us negative 2. Okay, so uh, why can't you find slopes when y is 0? Well, when y is 0, we get a 0 in the denominator. And so this is not differentiable. All right? Um, not differentiable or the or we can say that the derivative doesn't exist. dy dx does not exist at y equals 0, right? All right, so let's take a look at this uh, first slope field here, and we'll see how we um, how these look. So notice here we, we found these slopes here, right? Negative 3 halves. So if we go to point 3, 2, 1, 2, 3, up to notice here we have a slope here right this slope is should be negative three halves this is negative three half slope so whatever that point is we can put the slope of that what we got there for dy dx into our slope field so we're just gonna we're actually just gonna draw a little dash on what that slope would be so we've got all these uh leftovers here all right so for each of the remaining marks we're gonna go ahead and mark uh, what the slope is. So if we had 0, 1, right, 0, 1 is going to give us a slope of 0. 0, 2, again, this x is 0, y is 2, it's going to give me a slope of 0. And actually, anything on here is going to give me a slope of 0, right? So I'm going to go ahead and fill those in. And then what do you think the slope is going to be here at, uh, let's go ahead and see, at positive 2, negative 1. So positive 2, negative 1 is going to be, I recommend that if you don't know what it is just by looking at what the slope field is doing, you plug the point in. Just plug the point into dy dx and find that slope. The slope is 2. So you're going to want to have a, uh, so that's what, up, up 2 over 1. It's going to look like that. So we're going to make a slope like that. Okay, that's what I do. I go, I go up to over one, and then kind of, you know, make my like if it was a line there, and then I just make the 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 one dash to a slope of two. Okay, um, if I plug in, let's plug in another point. Let's plug in two and negative two. So if I have two and negative two, I'm gonna get, um, I'm gonna get one. All right, so that slope is 1, so up 1 over 1, looks like that. So there's my slope of 1. All right, you kind of see what's going on for all of these, right? Um, so we're going to go and fill in the rest of these with the slopes. Okay. And again, if you can't see the pattern, just start to put in um, you know put in values in for x and y and just whatever that slope turns out to be that's going to be your your little dash there okay so that's what we get there all right 
So let's take a look at what we're doing now here. Now in example two here, when we made this slope field, these are, um, you know, like I said, it's these are particular solutions. These are not particular, I'm sorry. This is like a general solution. But for any particular solution, a specific curve on there, we would need to actually have a point. So if I started at point zero one, which would be, right, zero one is right here, okay. If I start at that point, I can follow the, I can kind of follow the sketches. Now, let me just do something here real quick. Oops. I want to change my pen, my pen color. Ah, what am I doing here? Okay, hold on one second. All right, so what we want to do here is, I got this thing fixed, sorry about that. Um, what we want to do is we want to we want to draw a curve that fits these slopes and we want to just kind of we, we want to be parallel to the slope that that little slope is on the little slope piece um, going through a point and we want to make sure that uh, we have a function whose the domain is the largest possible open interval containing that point and, and the biggest thing that students do wrong is they sketch a graph that's too far that's no longer a function so make sure you're following the vertical line test so let me show you what happens on this one we're going to start here at zero one right so i'm going to i'm going to draw this and i'm going to go parallel to that okay actually hold on just one second redraw these slopes okay we're gonna go parallel to that like that I'm gonna go parallel to that one All right. you just make sure that see right here this slope is going to be parallel to this slope that was here this slope right here is parallel to that slope. And then these are undefined. So I gotta put some open circles in them. And I'm not gonna keep going even though like if you look back, it looks like a circle, but it can't be a circle because again, it can't be, um, it has to be a function. So that's as far as I can go. So let me do another one here. Come on, green. Um, let's do um, negative one, positive one. So negative one, negative one, positive one is right here okay this is the point negative one positive one so I'm gonna follow let me zoom in here so you can see what I'm doing here I'm gonna follow this parallel to that okay parallel to that and go there go there open circles all right okay let me try another one let's see zero negative three um, X is zero, Y is negative three, that's right here. Okay, so I'm gonna follow these guys. Like that. Follow this one like this. And I got that one, okay? So that's my curve for those differential equations, all right? With those particular solutions. Okay, so let me see. All right, so let's go in uh, and do a couple more examples here, and then I will uh, probably cut another video on this here. So um, let's see what was, if I solve this differential equation, what would I get? Um, well, we got to use um, separation of variables here. Integrate that. We get one half y squared equals negative one half x plus c. That gives me y squared equals negative x negative x squared. Sorry, I forgot my squared plus c two. All I did was multiply both sides by one half. All right. So then I get two. I get two here. I get um, positive square root of negative x squared plus c two. And I get negative square root of negative x squared plus c. And you can kind of see that 
the positive one is going to be the top part and the negative one is going to be the bottom part. Okay, so if I wanted to find the particular solution at point 0, 1, I would plug in 0, 1 into my equation here. And that would give me square root of C2. So C2 equals 1. So that could be y equals square root of negative x squared plus 1. If I wanted the other one, for 0, negative 3, I'd plug that one in here because it's the y. The y is negative, right? So I'm going to get y, oops, I'm going to get negative 3 equals negative square root of 0 squared plus c2. And then that's going to give me negative 3 equals negative root c2. c2 equals 9. So I'm going to end up with y equals negative root negative x squared plus 9. Okay, so there's my particular solutions. Okay, so and that's how it relates to the, the slope field there. Okay, so here's my last example here. I'm not, let's see what I can do. All right, for the differential equation, y prime equals y, 1 over y. Let's go ahead and draw the slope field to the coordinate plane to the right. So again, what, I, what you should do is you should pick some points um, anywhere on that slope field and start to draw them in. So if I picked um, x equals, let's so just, just go with 0, comma 1. All right, 0, comma 1 is right here. And I don't know why the dots aren't really lining up, guys. Sorry about that. Uh, 0, comma, 1 is right there. If I put that in there, I'm going to get, uh, well, 0 doesn't matter because it's x and there's no x there. So it's 1 over 1. So I'm going to get a slope of 1. Okay. And then if I put in a 2, I'm going to get a slope of 2. Well, actually, I'm going to get a slope of 1 half. And then I'm going to get a slope of 1 third. Right, so they're they're getting uh, less steep. If I put a negative one in there, I'm going to get a negative slope, negative one, then negative one half, then negative one third. Okay, it doesn't matter what x is, right? So y is going to be the same slope the whole way through here. Flatten these out a little bit more. A little less right there, a little flatter, and then again over here, the y's stay the same. Because again, it doesn't matter what x is, because x isn't going to um, really affect, there's no x in my differential there, right? So whatever y is going to stay like that. Okay, so once we draw the slope field, now we want to graph the particular solution. So we're going to do the first one, it says, passing through negative 2, negative 1. So negative 2, it's right here, negative 2. I know it's off, but guys, this is negative. Well, maybe these are halves. So negative 2, negative 1 will be right here. Negative 2, negative 1 is right there. So that's going to be, remember, we got to go parallel with the slope field, right? Let me draw as best I can here. So we're going to parallel with the slope field. Goes like that. Open circle. All right, let's do the next one. 2, 2, 2, 2, 2. Like a little 2, 2. Okay, here's 2. Here's 2. Up 2 is right here. We're going to follow along that guy. Follow along that guy. All right. Follow him along like that. And that's our solution. Okay, all right, let's solve the differential equation now. So we're going to have dy, y equals 1 dx. And all I did was change this to dy dx. Integrate. 1 half y equals uh, x plus c1. Multiply, oops, squared. Multiply the 2 over. All right, and then we're going to get y equals 2x plus c2, the square root of that, or y equals negative root 2x plus c2. Okay. All right. So uh, I'm getting over, I'm getting to 15 minutes. I don't know if my video is going to cut out or not. We'll see. Okay. We're going to go and plug in this into this one, this into this one. And we do that uh, when all is said and done and we do all our work. All right. We're going to get um, y equals negative root 2x plus 5 when we plug that one in. And we're going to get y equals square root of 2x when we pl plug the other one in. Okay, Go and do all that work out too. It's not that hard. You just plug it in and find c. 
Okay, so let me do um, one more.